Uh, hello, uh, my name is John Bryant. I am an interviewer for the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. I am interviewing Willie Thomas on September the 20th, 2006 in the main library. Uh, good morning, Mr. Thomas. Good morning. Uh, tell me, uh, how did you come to go into the military service? Well, at that time I, I was, wasn't old enough to go into the war, but as you know, in uh, December of 1941 is when the war broke out. Mm -hmm. And uh, later on that, that year, uh, but we just were thinking about it, me and some other boys, because we wasn't old enough to go into the war and wasn't anything to do around the place, you know, where I live. And where was that? In, in Georgia. In Georgia. And uh, so we called, I said, we're gonna put our age up and, and go into the service. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when we t told the people, you know, they knew that we weren't old enough, so we couldn't do it. But later on, I went to Tampa, Florida, where my brother was. And when I got to Tampa, Florida, they had called him into the, into the service. Mm -hmm. And so I stayed there in, in so, Florida. So he wasn't there when you got there? No, he, he had left. They had called him into the service mm -hmm. to, to, at Fort Benny, Georgia. And so uh, I stayed there in Tampa instead of going back to Georgia, so I stayed in Florida. And then later on, I left uh, Tampa, Florida and went to Orlando. And this is when they, they, had, they had sent me some papers too about going to the, to the service. Mm -hmm. And I went to the Navy recruiting station and asked, you know, could you go into the Army or Navy if you want to. They said as long as if you passed the test, mm -hmm. you could go into the Navy, but they wasn't <clears throat> inducting you into the Navy. You'd have to pass the test, you know, volunteer to go you in. You'd have to volunteer to mm -hmm. go into the service right. and, and ask to go, to go into the Navy. Have to volunteer, and if you pass, you, mm -hmm. you'd you be accepted. And so we just wanted to go into the war to help, you know, about the war. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I didn't want to go into the Army, so, and then I, I passed to go into the Navy. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we went in. Okay, uh, where did you do your basic training? Well, when we, we uh, was, I was inducted in uh, Orlando and sent from Orlando to Jacksonville to be examined by a lot of doctors from there, mm -hmm. and from Jacksonville to Norfolk, Virginia, the Navy training station, so that's where I, I took my training at Norfolk, Virginia, Navy's training station. Uh, and what kind of occupation was open to you, and which ones did you choose? Well, going into the Navy uh, at that time, the African Americans, you know, you couldn't go in as uh, seamen or something like that, so you'd have to go in as mess attenders. As I told you, you know, mm -hmm. they, they don't, induct you into the Navy. You have to volunteer. Mm -hmm. So at volunteer, we was all mess attenders. But, but you knew going in that uh, essentially the only work you would be able to do would be as a mess attendant. Mess attendant. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> talk a little bit more about that. Uh, is that sort of like uh, in, on the trains you had persons who were Pullman porters and they made up the beds and uh, mm -hmm. did the cooking and those kinds of things. Uh, mm -hmm. Not that the Pullman Porters did the cooking, but uh, you, you, those were essentially jobs that were available to African Americans. And that was the same thing in the uh, Navy. That's right, similar. Because the, the, the mess attendants took care of their officers' quarters mm -hmm. and everything. And they also become cooks mm -hmm. and stewards. And uh, so, the, like the stewards well, did all the baking and everything, and, mm -hmm. and the cooks, you know, cook all the, the meats and vegetables and so forth. Uh, before that, uh, we all had different uh, jobs to do. Clean up the officers' quarters, mm -hmm. and uh, it was about 28 of us. Uh, and I was attached to the, a squadron. Uh, they, the, the squadron was pilots, and mm -hmm. see, I, now they was all you know, uh, Caucasian, mm -hmm. and uh, 
I'm the only African American there, and I took care of the ready room for them. Have the coffee and stuff ready for, mm -hmm. for when they get ready to, when they come in from the, out on a flight, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they come into the ready room. And they come into the ready room before, when they're going to take off. Mm -hmm. They come in and get coffee and donuts, and things like that. That was called a, a ready room. Uh, the pilots had to be ready for just anything. Mm -hmm. One minute, you know, it take off. Uh, what was your relationship? You because you were an enlisted man, and these were officers. Uh, what was your relationship uh, with the officers? Well, it was good. I got a chance to talk to them, and uh, like I'd be in the ready room, and at that time they had a. It was something uh, similar to. A, a, it was like a big radio, and you could set something on it, mm -hmm. and they would. Uh, Turn it back on, and it would come back okay. so for a, a short recorder. distance of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little record, recorder, like, mm -hmm. and and uh, when they would be up in the planes, mm -hmm. we could turn this radio on, we could hear them up there. Mm -hmm. uh, now, were, now, were you still where, uh, where were you stationed at that time? Well, after after I took my training in Norfolk, Virginia, mm -hmm. and then then we'd be uh, assigned to a ship. Mm -hmm. See. And so the squadron that I was attached to, uh, Fight 22, we was attached to the USS Independence. Mm -hmm. And so we had to leave uh, Norfolk, Virginia, and go to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. That's uh, their home station. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was uh, the mascot for the Independence, you know, the Independent Hall. Mm -hmm. And so we have that on all the plans of the day, like a big paper like you have there. Mm -hmm. It's the plan of the day, and the uh, picture of that independent hall on there, and the bell, mm -hmm. the crack bell and all that, mm -hmm. on the plan of the day. So, and we all went from uh, Norfolk, Virginia, to uh, get on our ship, mm -hmm. USS Independence, to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And after that, you go on a shakedown cruise on this new ship we have mm -hmm. into the the Atlantic mm -hmm. uh, into uh, uh, Trinidad and Port of Spain, where we took the, the ship out on what you call a shakedown cruise, mm -hmm. as it as it get ready for the our journey to the Pacific Ocean, mm -hmm. and from there and so, so how long did the shakedown cruise take? The shakedown cruise, I guess, it it seemed like it it probably was a a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing, mm -hmm. but it's a long time. You out don't know on the water, you know, no land or anything. And uh, we went down. After that, we came back and they checked the ship over, and uh, it passed on the shakedown cruise. And so then we've had from uh, Philadelphia uh, to uh, into the Atlantic Ocean to Panama to the Panama Canals. Where we go through the locks mm -hmm. there, into come the on Pacific into Ocean. right, coming on into the Pacific Ocean, mm -hmm. on into uh, uh, California, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> on to uh, from there to uh, Vallejo, Treasure Island, mm -hmm. and on and uh, well, I think we took up the Treasure Island for a while, and they did something checking the ship. And from there, you head on out through under the Golden Gate, headed to uh, Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. That's where we, was. our journey was to, to, per, to Pearl to, Harbor. To Pearl Harbor. Right. Uh, when did yeah. you get to, to Pearl Harbor? Now the, the month. Well, see now. A approximately. I, uh, yeah. Um, I, we got there. This is in '42. Now that started in. The war broke out in 41. Mm -hmm. In 42, we was there at uh, Pearl Harbor around uh, maybe February. So it was really not very much time after uh, mm -hmm. the attack at Pearl Harbor that you were essentially in the area. Right. Well, we went through training, and all of this was in a, everything was, you know, Rush, rush, mm -hmm. 
because uh, in between that time, now before we went to uh, uh, Philadelphia to get the pilots and things mm -hmm. ready, we went to Roanoke, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, the pilots had to train for night flying mm -hmm. because that's what was going to take mm -hmm. place in the independence. We go, the pilots was going to fly at night and they had to learn how to land on that ship mm -hmm. at night. So they had those big lights and things mm -hmm. where they could, just like they do now, mm -hmm. where they have to come in and uh, land in between those lights. And that's what they had to do. Uh, you were a 17 year old at this time, right? No, I was, I was over, well, today 18 now, because we don't. Okay. Uh, but still, uh, 17 and 18 year old. Seems to me that that would be uh, pretty exciting kinds of things uh, to be involved with. Uh, is that so? What, what do you remember looking back at it from all these years as, a, as really as still a teenager? Uh, mm -hmm. what uh, it was like once you really got into the military? Well, I know that uh, when we got to Pearl Harbor and seen the ships and things down there, mm -hmm. the Arizona, that's where we used to mm -hmm. go back and forth mm -hmm. out by there and uh, all the things that had took place there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the group, had to, as a, they didn't have too many ships then, mm -hmm. so they called it Task Force 48. Mm -hmm. 48. And, uh, and they was running, we was running from one place to other. You know, they would uh, run the ship so far this way and send the planes way out mm -hmm. and strike. Mm -hmm. And we'd have to, at that time, we'd have to come back mm -hmm. to uh, Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. did, any of the, did you lose any of the planes that went out? Yes, sometimes we lose some. Sometimes they ran out of fuel. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at that time they had where they had uh, extra tanks, you know, they'd, put onto the plane, mm -hmm. but it looks almost like a bum up on it there, but there's extra tanks of gas where they could fly along mm -hmm. ways and, and, uh, and make sure they have enough to get back. To get back. Because mm -hmm. if they get into a, what they call it, a dog fight with the mm -hmm. enemy mm -hmm. planes, they might have to go out of a, out of a, you know, the, the, the a farther distance. Mm -hmm. And they know they got to get back to the ship. Uh, so, so uh, even though you were uh, doing the cooking and cleaning and all that, uh, you were very much aware of uh, the war and the, and the fighting and the casualties and the planes that uh, went out and got shot down and those kinds of things? Right. Uh, what kind of impact did, did that have on you? Well, it, you know, I was, it, was, it was sad, you know, with some of the... The, uh, the mans get uh, shot down mm -hmm. and because it always bring back the news on about whatever happened and we would hear it over the, the radio mm -hmm. and that would come back in because we know the enemy would be saying that, uh, that it was more happened than what, you know, mm -hmm. really happened. And uh, that would be sad. Because now by me being a, a mass attendant uh, on the ship, we all had to had bow stations. Mm -hmm. And when they sound GQ, they call it general quarters, mm -hmm. when the enemy is in the territory, mm -hmm. everybody have to go and man their, their battle bow station. station. Right, so the, the biggest thing, because we had learned about the guns, but we even known the guns, mm -hmm. but we had to pass the ammunition up there. Mm -hmm. Pass the ammunition up to them. Okay, so, so, uh, so you were essentially ammo providers for right. those persons who would be manning the guns. Right, because if they, as they shoot, you know, they got to keep mm -hmm. getting it up there out of the magazine down here. They call it a, a magazine, mm -hmm. and pass and the pass them on up into the now, where the guns are. Now, had you had any training? Because that can also be a dangerous kind of uh, occupation, I believe. Yeah, very little. You got very little. But you, as you being around the, the guns and things, mm -hmm. uh, you would you would see what's going on. You mm -hmm. see about what to, what to do. Mm -hmm. It was just like a, a Dory Miller. Mm -hmm. Now nah, he wasn't no. Oh, no, no. Gunner. Well, now explain to me because uh, I'm not sure who, who was Dory Miller. Dory Miller. He was a he was a mess attendant too. And what did he do? 
in the Navy. Well, he, he shot down some of the Japanese planes. Uh, so uh, he actually, uh, you know, he was a mess attendant because, because that's all one an African American could be technically. Uh, at one point, uh, he actually manned uh, the guns and fired the guns and uh, shot down mm -hmm. a number of the uh, Japanese uh, warplanes. Yes. But he was a, a mess attendant. Mm -hmm. And see, well, we would go from mess attendant to uh, steward's mate, and then you go to first class, second class, mm -hmm. third class, uh, first class. So uh, first class, third class, and on up to first class steward's mate, and you could go from that to a cook, mm -hmm. uh, a steward, a cook. Well, a steward did a, like I said, the cook did a, the steward did the, the fixing up the menus and different mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And the cooks, they prepared all the foods, you know, the meats and vegetables and so forth. Now all of these positions, uh, the stewards and so forth were all African Americans. Um, right, all uh, of those was. was a, uh, that was the promotion ranks, uh, the sort of the career ladder uh, for African Americans in the Navy. Uh, who, which white officer uh, would have been over uh, that section? Did you have a white officer to whom you reported? Right, we had had a, a white officer was over our department. Mm -hmm because this was the, the, the steward's mate mm -hmm. uh, department. Mm -hmm. You know, that covered the mess attenders and cooks and so forth. Mm -hmm. They called it steward mate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had uh, uh, a Caucasian uh, officer, I think it was a, a JG, uh, uh, Ensign, mm -hmm. sometime would be a, over, but they was over it. And uh, you could go up high as a chief now, they could go on up. You go from cook to uh, first class, mm -hmm. second class, third class, on up. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's about far as you'd go up to chief. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but chief, you know. That, would that be a uh, chief petty officer? Or when you say chief, what the. What, what exactly was that in terms of a, the. A chief cook? A, a, a chief, chief cook. A chief cook, cook was, uh, was, was the uh, highest uh, that you could go at, for the highest that an African American could go uh, in that uh, sort of chain. Yeah, a chief cook or a chief steward's mate. This, because the stewards, as I said, the stewards was in charge of, of, of buying the food and and uh, so much food that we had to fix mm -hmm. for all these officers and plus for us too. And uh, that was his job. He had figured out all of that, and and uh, and they took care of all the you know making the the bread and and cook. Mm -hmm. I mean cakes and so forth, and uh, salads and things. That was done up in the steward department, mm -hmm. and down in the cook part, we took care of all of the other everything. You know. Now, uh, uh, you served uh, the officers in the navy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, white enlisted men in the Navy. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they had their own cooks? No, no. The, did, did you, did you the prepare ships, food? You got two different parts there. Now see, uh, the ship's crew, that's a different outfit altogether. Mm -hmm. But the steward's mates and the officer's quarters is separated from right. them. And, and so, so, so the, uh, the African Americans only served the officers. That's right. Took care of the officers. Care of the officers. Right. Uh, the other uh, non-officers uh, who were white uh, were in a separate department and mm -hmm. had their own unit. That's right. That's the ship's crew. Mm -hmm. See, and so they was is different. So they. Uh, they so could. what kind of when you're at, at sea, uh, what kind of interaction? Uh, did you have, did you just stay within your group of, I think you said there were 28 or so, uh, or did you have any kind of interaction with the rest of the crew? Oh yes, we all, you know, we got to, because we're here, we own this big ship. Mm -hmm. All of us, we get to know each other and because and, they just had the different type 
jobs, you know, they, mm -hmm. they was uh, uh, seamen and you, you know, you go for electricians and so forth mm -hmm. on there. And uh, the boatswain mate, mm -hmm. you hear him on the mm -hmm. ship and then, and then uh, some of the musician that, that, mm -hmm. that blows taps, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and let you know when something going on on the ship and mm -hmm. what time to be quiet mm -hmm. about the ship. And if we was taking on uh, ammunition, uh, fueling, and uh, if they said the, the smoking lamp is out throughout the ship. Uh, yes. Now, before you got to the Pacific, uh, you're still back in the States now. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have shore leave and things like that when you go off of the boat, off of the boat, probably off of the ship. Yeah. Uh, what kind of activities uh, were available to you? You were in uh, Navy towns, uh, but those Navy towns were also in segregated areas of the, of the uh, country. What kind of activities did you have uh, off the ship? Now, the, the biggest uh, problem you, you'd have there would be in, in Pearl Harbor. But see, after we left Pearl Harbor, like I said, we used to operate back and forth out of Pearl Harbor. But after we got out so far, see, we wasn't no coming back. We was continue going. Right, and I, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I went back, I took you back to, before you went to Pearl Harbor, you're back in the United States at uh, Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, and uh, you had some time that would be, I guess would be called short time. Or liberty. Uh, liberty. Liberty. Uh, what kinds of activities were available to you? I know in the confined quarters of the, of the ship, uh, you talked about the crew and the fact that you did have some kinds of, uh, at least interactions uh, while you were on ship. Uh, what, was, what was liberty like? Well, liberty, well, it was uh, like a, they had the, the USOs in okay. the, see, okay. in the different uh, places. What are the USOs? USOs is a place where the sailors and, and soldiers get a chance to go there and, and they, they have uh, some food for you to eat and mm -hmm. then you could uh, dance with the now, were ladies. Now, were they segregated? No, they wasn't. Right. At the, at the USO, yeah, they, were they, they, were they, they weren't integrated. That's no, they, they, they were they were yeah, segregated. No. Okay. So, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, there were there were uh, the military provided uh, through the USO some uh, kinds of activities available to you off uh, sh off the ship. However, yes. those were very much segregated. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And so they provided food. Uh, drink and uh, some of some uh, of the girls from the YMC or something might come over and, uh, and you'd be able to dance. What, what other kind of activities? Play cards? I don't, I don't remember playing any cards. No more than on the ship. Uh -huh. We play cards on the ship. Uh, on the ship you played cards. But, yes, but uh, uh, when we get a chance to go on, on Liberty, uh -huh. you know, uh, you know, they'd go out, biggest thing they would do is dance. Well, I wasn't old enough to be having their drinks in there. Uh -huh. And so, but I didn't care that much about drinks anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the alcohol. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would like to, to dance. Uh -huh. And sometimes we'd go to uh, uh, places to, to eat mm -hmm. and uh, maybe a movie or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you played a lot of, lot of cards on, on the ship. On the ship, yes, we played cards on the ship. What kind? We played, well, it wasn't a bit of whist, not then, we called it whist. But most of the time it was poker. It was poker. We played poker for uh, matches or anything, uh -huh. and you know, during the, the month, uh, everybody, all the little money would be gone and, mm -hmm. you know, sent to the allotment back to the, mm -hmm. and, and and so with the little money that you have, they would, uh, would play, they'd play poker for that. Uh -huh. And if you don't have no, no money, they could play for matches and, and different things. Uh -huh. you know, so that's the biggest thing we did. 
Uh, well, we'll play pinochle too. Pinochle? Pinochle. Uh, pinochle, poker. And you didn't play poker. any whist? Uh, that's what I said. You didn't? P pinochle, uh -huh. poker, and, and whist. And whist. But not bed whist. But, but not bed whist. Uh, but uh, now you know they call it bed whist. whist. But but and, and, and we then, just call it whist. And, and, and then uh, it was just you, you dealt out uh, all the cards, and the last card turned up was the trump card. Right. That's right. And, and, uh -huh. and uh, whist <laughs> is sort of the. Uh, African American version of bridge. Some of, oh no, we, we had bridge. You, you could you, play. You, that, you, but I didn't mention bridge too much because okay. we didn't play that that much. But we still know how to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so so whist is a little bit like bridge. Right. You you bid and because uh, you know you the after you get the bid, your your other partner is just a dummy over there. Mm -hmm. You know you play both hands uh -huh. on the bridge, but. Uh, from the way you're describing it, now you must have played a lot of cards. We did, you know. D just think about when you're out there uh, in the. I'm, a, I'm in talking ocean. about. I'm talking about you personally. Yes, we played played cards, and uh, because it wasn't anything else to do on my uh, my days off, you know. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, after we had taken care of all of uh, the work that we had to do, then you would. Uh, 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 as I, I got to be from the ready room, you know, I was taking mm -hmm, care of right, the mm -hmm. ready room from that, back to uh, cook. Mm -hmm. And so I had two other sailors under me cooking. Mm -hmm. So we'd be on uh, a, a, a day, you'd be on a day and off a day. Mm -hmm. But when we got into the enemy territory, we all, it was six of us, we all worked together. Mm -hmm. And we didn't do that much cooking then, we fixed sandwiches, sandwiches, and then have some coffee, uh, and then have a piece of fruit. Because when you're out there and the enemy is shooting at you, you don't have time to do no mm -hmm. cooking no big meal or something. And, and uh, so that's about the... Uh, do you remember when the war ended? Yes, I don't, I don't remember the date, but yeah, I was so glad. Mm -hmm. Well, in between that, now, out from uh, my ship was bombed. Oh, your ship was bombed? Yes. Well, the Japanese bombed my ship. Mm -hmm. And they had said that uh, ship number 22 was sunk, mm -hmm. the USS Independence. But they did bomb us, and a lot of the sailors got killed on that. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you remember that particular? I remember the area, the Marshall and Gilbert Island, we were out in that area. Mm -hmm. Now, it was in my mind once about what year it was. Mm -hmm. I think it was around November of that year. Uh, and uh, that was in, I think it was in 43, I believe. But you know, and, and this, you can pull, you can get this from the war room mm -hmm. about what I'm telling you about mm -hmm. the independence. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get, get this o over the computer about the, I don't know exactly what they call it, but it has to, it has to be something like the concerning the war. Mm -hmm. And you can find out all about the ships that was in the war and the ships that was bombed and so forth. And but, all. but you were not injured? No, I wasn't injured. But, uh, but there was apparently a, a pretty significant hit yes. uh, that the ship took because there were a number of casualties mm -hmm. uh, did it take place during a day or a night? Were you asleep or something? It was, or? About, it was about sundown when the Japanese attacked us. Mm -hmm. And during that time, see, they said they, uh, they had radar, but the radar couldn't pick. If he was flying down real low mm -hmm. to the water, the, the radar couldn't mm -hmm. pick him up. Mm -hmm. But we had lookout, you know, the lookout men too. Mm -hmm. And when they seen him, it was, uh, it was too late. You know. uh, so they would, uh, did there was a call to go out to, to uh, man the battle stations or something right. like that? Right, general quarters. Uh, See. So, so then you uh, went to your position as basically passing the ammunition. Right. We all run to our battle station. That's mm -hmm. what we, you know, you, when they sound general quarters, mm -hmm. everybody got to go and man. Uh, to, see, we don't went through all of this. You know, we practice that mm -hmm. all the time, you know, about their flash-proof covers and everything. 
that we had to wear just in case the ship would get on fire. Mm -hmm. We had uh, this uh, flash proof stuff to put on. Mm -hmm. And everybody, you had to make sure that all the hatches was closed except the, the port part. Mm -hmm. You couldn't open the big, the big door. Mm -hmm. And there's another door in between that where you can go through and go through and seal it back up. Mm -hmm. See? And um, now, uh, was this the only time uh, that you were actually, that is the, uh, the independence, was this the only time that you were actually engaged in uh, a uh, combat situation where you had to man the battle stations for real and fire at the enemy? Oh no, all the, uh, in all those different islands, you know, where we went from one to the other out there, mm -hmm. when the Japanese come back to attack us, because uh, uh, we was protected pretty good with the, the battleships, the destroyers, and the cruisers. Because here, this big ship, you know, it can't mm -hmm. move too fast. Mm -hmm. So you had to have all those others around that to were, try to protect mm -hmm. it. And uh, because this was primary, I, I, let me back up, because I may have not completely understood. Uh, it was primarily a uh, fighter squadron uh, ship where, where where planes were taking off to go uh, attack the enemy, attack the enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, but there were a number of times uh, when uh, the enemy uh, essentially uh, attacked the ship uh, and so the uh, uh, ship uh, was engaged actually in some combat activity uh, mm -hmm. directly and in one instance uh, the ship was actually hit uh, and took mm -hmm. a number of casualties. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, any other activities sort of of that kind that took place uh, before the war came to an end? Well, after we was, uh, back to the part where after we was hit, mm -hmm. we, the, the ship was dead in the water after damaged. a while. It was damaged, it was really just set still for a while because uh, the screws was, the engine was knocked out. And they had their deep sea divers to go down and, and see about the, into the, the parts where they could get in because you know water then rushed into mm -hmm. the place. And uh, another thing, remember too, like out of some, some uh, compartments, we had uh, pails dipping water out of there mm -hmm. to keep the, to make the ship mm -hmm. from capsizing. And uh, the, uh, after, after we got the, 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 the deep sea divers to go down and uh, into the engine rooms and things mm -hmm. and, and get that going, they had the sea going tugs to come and get us yeah. and they pulled us from there to uh, out is Mog Mog Island, mm -hmm. and they they came in. The, they had a the the the, uh, the, sea, the deep sea divers go at one of them, mm -hmm. and I think they did some welding or something. Mm -hmm. They got us together pretty good to to go from Please Mog Mog to us all the way back to Pearl Harbor, and where they taken out some more of the casualties, and then they, they worked on it some more. They, from there, we had to be go from there back to San Francisco. Okay. Uh, and so so the, the, the ship uh, was mm -hmm. uh, pretty severely damaged. Right. Uh, and uh, you had to have tugboats to uh, actually tow it. Uh, see, going so tugs until they, they got some of the screws working. Mm -hmm. See, it's, I think it was four, it's four up under there. Mm -hmm. uh, they call them screws, you know, the big, uh, the, the motors, right? They they uh, they got those uh, together, and we was to make it from uh, the sea going tugs got us back to Pearl back Harbor. To Pearl Harbor, and then we had to get some of the casualties out of there uh -huh. at Pearl Harbor, and then from Pearl Harbor all the way back to San Francisco. Uh, let me go back because uh, uh, you had wounded persons on board. Uh, you had persons who were already dead, uh, so you had a sick bay uh, 
and all of this time when the boat, when the ship wasn't able to get back to Pearl Harbor, uh, you still had those persons uh, who were pretty seriously wounded uh, that was uh, on board ship. Well, that was one part of his ship, but the, you know, at sea. Mm -hmm. the, we had the burial at sea. You buried some at sea. The, the, you know, we had them all in the, in the ward room. The ward room is the big room where the officers usually eat. Mm -hmm. But when we, when we got, uh, when they got uh, the injured, we had them up on the flight deck, we was bringing them back down and taking them into the ward room. Mm -hmm. But the ones that was uh, deceased, then you, they, they had a, the they was buried in a, a, I don't know exactly what they call it, but uh, the thing they was put into where it would go, it was sank. Mm -hmm. I guess it had sand all in the side of that, where the ones that was buried at sea. Mm -hmm. That there had and, and then those <coughs> uh, you uh, uh, you must have had uh, a medical crew right. uh, that was mm -hmm. aboard ship right uh, mm -hmm. and so they essentially set up an emergency hospital in in uh, the uh, uh, ward where the officers ate and tended to those uh, persons who were wounded and still alive. Right, they had all, you see, we have all of that on the, on the, on the ship. Mm -hmm. The doctors and so forth, the sick bay, you know, you go, you mm -hmm. sick, you go. Mm -hmm. They have all of that, but at, at a case of, of emergency, like what, what took place, they was brought into the ward room mm -hmm. in order to doctor on them, you know, the ones that was, that were not, sick, that, were that not. was injured. Mm -hmm. And uh, the others, uh, later on, uh, they was buried at sea mm -hmm. in these big things. Looked like it, I think it had sand on the, on the side mm -hmm. of it so it would make it would sink. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so then uh, when, you, when you were able to get the ship back to Pearl Harbor, uh, those persons who were injured, still alive, uh, were uh, taken off at that time uh, and given uh, more medical attention. Right. And, mm -hmm. and there were still repairs that had to be made on the ship uh, before you could return to San Francisco. Before we could return back to the war. Oh, you, uh, you, went, back, you went back into battle once the ship was, right. uh, was uh, repaired. repaired. Right. So, so you went back to Pearl Harbor for repairs and then back into battle. Yeah, after, after they repaired the ship, in San Francisco, uh, during the time when, when the ship was being repaired, we got leave. Okay, so the, so, the, so you got off in Pearl, Har uh, in, in Pearl Harbor while the ship went to, to be further repaired? No, in San Francisco. Okay. See? The we, ship went back to San Francisco with you with the ship. Right, and then the, all the sailors was, had a chance to have they had to come off the ship because the ship got to go in dry dock. Okay. Yeah. It was in dry dock in Hunters Point mm -hmm. at San Francisco. And uh, during that time when they was repairing the ship, uh, I some of us was at different places. Some was at Goat Island, some at Treasure Island, and some at Hunters Point. You know, the, we had to go and live in those different places mm -hmm. until our ship was repaired. Mm -hmm. And then we head back to into the war. Into, into uh, battle. Back, that's right. Going back to Pearl mm -hmm. Harbor, from Pearl Harbor on out, headed to Japan. Uh, so how long, uh, approximately, uh, were you in the battle zone? Oh, uh, A couple of years? Well, I was in, that, in the service three years and some, mm -hmm. and uh, a practice practically all of that, like starting from Pearl Harbor on out, we kept going, because we're not turning around. We had to take on ammunition and everything out mm -hmm. of sea and continue to head towards Japan. Mm -hmm. You know, the kamikazes and things mm -hmm. like that was, mm -hmm. uh, we went through all that. And, and uh, Okinawa, well, I think we was around there about 70 some days before that was taken over. We was out from that. And the other places where the bombed and things was 
was dropped, we, was, we had pulled back mm -hmm. because of what this action fixed to take. But, but you were actually in combat then for quite a period of time. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, when the uh, ship was being repaired in San Francisco, uh, and you were and you were in San Francisco, San Francisco. Uh, what kind of things then did you uh, have an opportunity to do? Now you're you're on liberty essentially. You're not on duty. We got a chance to go home. Oh, you actually got a chance to go home. Right. You got a chance. You got you got thirty days. Okay. Leave, and then you come back to to wherever you you station then until the ship get ready. You come back to Treasure Island. Or Go to Island, a mm -hmm. shoemaker. That's all that's around San Francisco, mm -hmm. and uh, and Hunters, Hunters Point, uh, some of the, and uh, some of the barracks and things there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now that you go back, to your, your mother, I think you told me, was in Cincinnati. Yes. Uh, yes so for your leave, did you go to Cincinnati or Florida or? No, that at at that time I went to, to Georgia. You went to Georgia, which was your my original home. My grandmother, yeah, yeah was there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the only I, only time I came to Cincinnati was when the war was when over. The war was over, so, I so came in. that's when my mother was right. here. So so you went back to Georgia for uh, a leave. A leave. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like to go home? Well, it was it was good to go around. And, it wasn't anything there because nothing happened, and you know, around mm -hmm. the uh, small towns. But but you but you had relatives there, right? Yes, your grandmother glad was to still see there, and that was the first time that you had seen yeah. them. And, yeah. and and actually, it seems to me uh, that you left home a boy and came back home a man. I would assume. Yes, uh, when you know, I was put up there nineteen or twenty. Uh -huh. Yeah, something like that. But, but, but you, but you the, had been through a lot from the 17-year-old yes, right. yeah. uh, that uh, left home mm -hmm. in 1942, I guess it would have been, and the person who came back after mm -hmm. having been in combat for mm -hmm. this period of time. Yes, it was. And like I said, it wasn't anything around there's a small place to do. Mm -hmm. We'd go around and get a chance to go. My, my, my grandmother lived in one place, and then my sister lived about 10 miles from there. That's another mm -hmm. little town. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they didn't, at that time, you know, didn't have no car or anything. How are you going to get there? You know, because I was getting the bus. Mm -hmm. I was on the bus, you know, to go from one place to the other. But I, I just said 10 miles apart, it, it, and you might not see each other in a long mm -hmm. time, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's the way it was, you know, because people didn't have, they didn't have no cars and things. Uh, did you come by bus from California to Georgia, or by train, uh, when, you, when you got your leave? Train. Train. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you? Oh, how many days? Ooh, on the train. I'm thinking, uh, uh, I guess, like three or four days, because <laughs> I know uh, I'm thinking about oh, that from from uh, California to Chicago mm -hmm. when the war was over. Mm -hmm. You know, it took a long time there, but I don't know. It, I seem like it took about three or four days, because so that's a long ways, you know. So you you actually used up about a week of your leave time yeah. coming and going from California to. Well, well, they all, all that's figured in. They, they know because you could be able, you know, mm -hmm. if you don't be back By a back time. In, in, in time. You know, you, well, you'd have to let them know, you know, what happened, the mm -hmm. reason why you didn't get back. And, and so that's about it. And, and, uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me move you forward then okay. to, uh, I'm going to get you out of the Army, out of the Navy now. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What, after you got out of the Navy, was there anything that you learned in the Navy that helped you in civilian life? It, uh, it was uh, a good thing that I learned, you know, about cooking and so cooking forth and, and all that. But I, after I got out, 
I couldn't even get a job cooking. Hmm. You know, they'd have, uh, they had jobs in the papers for mm -hmm. ads, showed all the cooks, because mm -hmm. I liked that, because I fixed eggs and stuff uh -huh. real quick, instead of me, because I could do all the other uh -huh. uh, cooking. But there, yeah. there were ads for, for those cooks, commissions. But I couldn't get it, but you can, well, because, of, because of, I'm African American. Uh, so, 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 so you had served the country, right? Uh, been in battle, uh, and uh, came to Cincinnati mm -hmm. and looked for jobs, and could not find a job. That's right. Uh, in the field that you had been trained in. Right. And uh, well, uh, look, there were no jobs, but they called. You know, we you had to join the fifty-two. 52, uh, you 52, 52 weeks. Oh. See, you could sign up for unemployment mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. And the, the 5220 club, that's what we call it. You, when you get out of the service, you could sign up for unemployment mm -hmm. and you get $20 mm -hmm. a week mm -hmm. for 52 weeks. So, so that's mm -hmm. a year. In, the, in between time, looking for a job. There's no jobs in the and like I said, I had the uh, biggest thing I had did in the service was cook uh -huh. and so forth. I had that that train I could cook, and I had two other sailors under me uh -huh. cooking. But I I tell you one. Uh, okay, well I did after the, after that that later on I did go into the we got the the school they had the school about a. Uh, Learning to uh, be a mechanic, mechanic and so forth, yeah. and that's what I wanted to do. But I could never get into yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But I went into the tailoring school, and uh, I worked into tailoring school. Uh, this was from the from uh, the service. Uh, when you got out of the service, uh, mm -hmm. and there was a school called McCall's in downtown Cincinnati uh, that taught tailoring in on Fourth Street. Yes. That's right. I went to the tailoring school. I went down to the tailoring school. Right. Uh, I, you used the GI Bill. That's the GI Bill. Okay. That that came later, you know, because, uh, like I said, we couldn't find no job. But mm -hmm. the fifty two twenty club, mm -hmm. I'd run out, and then the GI Bill came up with uh, these other mm -hmm. different things mm -hmm. for people to, that you could do. Uh, they had those different schools you could go into. But it was radio. Learn how to make a radio mm -hmm. and. And everything. If you had the a, a education, cold and, you know, repairing, uh, right? Yes, but the main ones. So I, I took a. I, if I couldn't get into the auto mechanic, mm -hmm. I took the tailor. Tailor. So that's what I did, and plus in between time, now that was part time, because mm -hmm. I had uh, got a job, and that came. Oh, I didn't. Uh, got married and everything. Mm -hmm. Before this came, these jobs came about. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't got married, mm -hmm. and, and uh, we didn't we didn't have any children. Mm -hmm. But anyway, and I, I had a, a a job. So then I'd I'd go from my job and go down to the school, and mm -hmm. I'd be late sometimes. Mm -hmm. They had me late so many times. So uh, and I think we got about fifty dollars a month. You know, mm -hmm. for going mm -hmm. two by fifty, mm -hmm. and uh, I was late so much, and they they had me late all the time, mm -hmm. and so that was a problem because I had to stay on my regular job before mm -hmm. I could go mm -hmm. to the school. Mm -hmm. I had to finish the job, mm -hmm. and then go to the school. But they complained so many t times, so I just I just quit going. But I made the suit and everything. I made a suit and made mm -hmm. a suit for. At this time, we had w one kid. I made a suit for my little boy. Hmm. I, I did mm -hmm. all that. I learned. Mm -hmm. But but you never completed the. Uh, I didn't finish graduate. Uh -huh. Didn't graduate from it. Mm -hmm. But I, I I learned how to do all those different things. You know, uh, you we made after you make the suit, then you go into alteration. Mm -hmm. Learn how to repair mm -hmm. and how to put cuffs in and mm -hmm. how to put pockets and things mm -hmm. and all different kind of alteration. Mm -hmm that you would learn uh, after you uh, had learned to make the suit. Then you want to know how to repair. Uh, in, in the school that you were in, uh, was it all African Americans? Yes. 
That's right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cool. That's good to school. Because I'm, you know, I'm just thinking back now. You look how long this been. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think I remember seeing any Caucasians there. You know. <laughs> It, 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 it was, all, it was McCall know, School separate. For, for colored youth. Yeah, separate. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, just briefly uh, that uh, you were uh, married, you had, had one child. When uh, I went to the school. When you went to, mm -hmm. How many children do you have now? Five. Five children, grandchildren? And let's see, we got, I think we got seven grands and, and uh, and two great grands. Mm -hmm. And you've uh, been married for 60 some years? Been married about, about 60. It's, we got married uh, February the 15th, 1947. And so not quite 50 yet. Not quite 60 yet. Yeah, it, it'll it's be pretty 60 in, in, a, in, a, in a little bit less than a year. Pretty good, uh, 59 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else would you like to tell me that uh, I should have asked you, but I didn't? Well, oh, one thing that I, I, I been, had had a rough time at the jobs, I could say it was jobs, mm -hmm. and uh, about the housing and about the bonus. Now, see, I went in from, from, uh, from Florida. From Florida. Mm -hmm. but my, mothers here mm -hmm. and when they paid the bonus here in Ohio uh, I couldn't get it and I still am had a now here I volunteered to go into the mm -hmm. service and all this time I never got a bonus uh, because your your actual you, you went in from uh, Florida but your place of residence officially was here because that's where your mother was. a mother yes uh -huh. but they wouldn't let me have it here in Ohio mm -hmm. and uh, I checked out Florida and so forth and on. I still here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you were you were uh, underage uh, when you went in. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So you were still sort of the responsibility of your mother, here, who was Cincinnati. here in uh, Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, you were not able to claim Ohio as your place of residence, basically. Right. Uh -huh. So who's responsible for that? The government or somebody? I'm, I was in the I was in the war, mm -hmm. and here I am. Uh, all the other soldiers and, and sailors getting, you know, this money which I needed bad to try to help, mm -hmm. and uh, nothing. Uh, you feel that you were shortchanged. That's right. Mm -hmm. Any other incidents that you'd like to? Well, I don't know. Well, uh, that being the case, uh, <laughs> yes. let me let me thank you very very much. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it really been enjoyable and enlightening, and uh, just thank you very much. Okay, and thank you all for having me. And uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe I could still. I'm gonna continue to try to get my bonus. <laughs>